Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Well, good morning. It's Friday, October 13th. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SBCA of Anne Arundel County. Okay, it's bad enough that it's Friday the 13th, so don't go walking under any ladders, crossing the paths of any black cats, and for crying out loud, if you're moving any mirrors, please be careful. All right, we do have a late news day today, which is good, so we need to slide into the weekend. So, shall we? We now know what happened yesterday at BWI. At about 2.45 p.m., a man approached an MDTA officer and said there was a bomb in his car, which was parked near the lower level of the terminal. The terminal was evacuated, the roads were shut down, the light rail was stopped, and after an investigation by the state fire marshal's office, the car was determined to not have a bomb in it, and the airport resumed normal operations. Now, the man was not arrested, nor was he charged. He was taken to a hospital for mental health treatment. And for those that need a reminder, it is never, never, never a good idea to joke about bombs or guns in any airport. Every Friday, we do canines and cross treks, and that's a lot of fun. But October is Annapolis Subaru Loves Pets Month. And for each dog or cat adopted at the SPCA in the month of October, Annapolis Subaru will donate $100. And right now, the SPCA has a lot of dogs and a lot of cats to adopt. And strangely, there are a lot of kittens and puppies as well. So if you are thinking of adopting a new companion, this is the month to do it because Annapolis Subaru is stepping up to the plate. Here's a very cool October event coming up your way next Tuesday, the 17th. Profs and Pints is bringing in an Edgar Allan Poe scholar to talk all things macabre and all things Poe. She is the former president of the Poe Studies Association, and she'll be here at the Graduate Hotel on Tuesday, the 17th. You can get tickets and more information at profsandpints.com. All right, that is a wrap on the news. Told you it was late. And George does say the weather may be a little bit dicey this weekend, so before you blindly head out, make sure you check with your organizers. Over at Maryland Hall, Sylvia is running at the Compass Rose Theater. I hope you listened to the bonus podcast we did a few weeks ago with Lucinda and Barbara. That's definitely a fun one, so you do want to check that out at Compass Rose Theater. The Ballet Theater of Maryland opens their season at Maryland Hall this weekend as well with Firebird. Now, tickets, you can get them at BalletMaryland.org. And you want to make sure you scroll back in your podcast feed and listen to our local business spotlight we did with Nicole, who's the executive director at Ballet Theater of Maryland. That was a good one and a lot of fun. The Annapolis Sailboat Show is in town through Sunday, and there are more than 100 boats in the water for every budget. Heavy on the multi-hulls this year. If you've already got a boat, there's plenty of gear to ogle and lots to learn. Tickets online at AnnapolisBoatShows.com. Navy football plays again tomorrow at 2 p.m. They take on Charlotte in North Carolina, so you're not going to be able to see them live unless you're in North Carolina yourself. Uh, They're hoping to advance their record to 3-3 or a nice round 500. Catch that game on ESPN+. Plus, Art at the Park is an annual art festival at Quiet Waters Park. It is this Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and much of it is indoors. It is free, but there is a $6 per car admission to get into the park for most people. Some ongoing events, I would mention the RenFest, but it is sold out for the rest of the year. So if you want to go, go beg on Facebook like everybody else or heed this pro tip. Because the event is so disruptive to local traffic in the Crownsville area, the festival does distribute eight free tickets to residents in the area. I'm not sure how far out they go, but if you know someone that lives in Crownsville, it might be worth a phone call. The corn maze at the Sunrise Dairy Farm in Gambrels is still going strong, and the pumpkin patch at St. Martin's Lutheran Church on Forest Drive is open, and there is a huge selection. And remember, the Homestead Gardens Fall Festival is still going on through the 22nd. Pumpkin patches, tractor rides, apple cider donuts, games, petting zoos, haunted house, shopping, much more. It does run weekends through October 22nd. You can get tickets at homesteadgardens.com. I do recommend you get them in advance. It makes it a lot easier getting in. Again, best to check to see if anything is rained out or rescheduled before packing up the family camper and heading out.
Today on Canines and Cross Tracks, we meet an unnamed chocolate lab puppy. We came up with Olga or chocolate lava cake, but she is a bundle of energy and oh, so, so, so sweet. Listen to our spot now, then check out ionanapolis.net at noon for our irresistible photos and get all of the information on how you can adopt her. And I'll tell you, she won't be there long. And again, don't forget that we have this brand spanking new daily newsletter that features only the top local news stories of the day. We send it out to your email inbox every night at 7 p.m. Yes, that is 365 days a year, all without a paywall. It's perfect for keeping up with the weekend's news since we don't publish a DNB on Saturday or Sunday. And here's a link right here in the show notes for you to subscribe. Tomorrow on our local business spotlight, we're going to be speaking with Anthony Clark and Sean Lynch from Galway Bay and their sister restaurants. And we talk about all the new great things that are happening there. And of course, my favorite drink of the holidays, the world famous Galway Bay eggnog, which is on its way in right now. And don't forget, we did drop two bonus pods yesterday, one with New Village Academy, that new high school over at the mall. Yes, the mall. And the other with Jock Bartley, who is the founder of Firefall, who's going to be here on the 27th at Ram's Head on stage. And if you listen to the Daily News Brief on Tuesday, I may have some tickets for you. All right, and that's it. Now it's time just to say thank you for listening and putting up with us every day. I do hope that we add some value to your world. And if we do, please leave a review somewhere or tell a friend to give us a listen. We also want to thank our sponsors, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, Scout and Molly's, and Alpha Engineering. It is Friday. The weekend is here. And now it's time just to say have a great weekend. Be nice to others. Do something fun. Be patient on the roads. We have a lot of visitors in town, and we are a confusing town. And please keep shopping local. Other than that, we're going to see you on Monday. Now you need to hang tight because George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with the only locally forecast weather report you'll find. And of course, K9's in cross treks. So do hang around for that. All that's coming your way in just a minute. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha is just a phone call away, helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend, too. Now, here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey, everyone, this is George with DCMDVA weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, October 13th. It'll be one more really nice weather day for the Annapolis region today, ahead of some rain and cooler temps for the weekend with cooler 60s sticking around for much of next week. Look for sunshine today with highs around the 70-degree mark to be followed by clouds and rain tomorrow with highs in the low to mid-60s with rain likeliest in the p.m. hours, though possible throughout the entire day, possibly lasting into Sunday morning before skies then start to clear a bit with high Sunday around 60 degrees with the expectation for next week being highs in the 60s Monday through at least Thursday. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DC MDVA Weather on Facebook and X for regular updates each day, along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Advanced illness decisions aren't always easy. Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, wants you to know you do have a choice over who provides care, what type of care, and when and where your loved one receives that care. Learn more at hospicechesapeake.org. Ready for a new look for those end-of-summer parties? 
Come see us at Scout and Molly's. I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate this great little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center. Come enjoy a fun, in-person shopping experience with a bonus, real customer service. We'd love to help you pick out the perfect outfit for back-to-school Annapolis boat shows and nights out with your friends. Scout and Molly's, Annapolis Town Center. Thanks for shopping local. That can only mean one thing. We're headed to the SPCA of Anne Arundel County with Annapolis Subaru to play with the pups for this week's Canines and Cross Treks. Sponsored by Annapolis Subaru. Higher standards. Well, welcome back to Canines and Cross Treks. And we have a wild chocolate lab running through here. She's a little puppy, isn't she, Kelly? She is a little puppy and she's a little wild child. She's four and a half months old and she's a brown lab. Hey, brown what? lab? Ch- chocolate, chocolate lab? Brown lab? Is there a difference? Chocolate lab? She's chocolate lab. I didn't know if <laughs> there was a difference. whatever you want her to be, John. No. Okay. She doesn't even have a freaking name. She does not. That's how new she is to us. Ooh. Can we name her? Yeah, we, we could. What do we want to call her, Billy? Mm, I don't know. I think... Uh, I was going to name her Sophie. Sophie? So- Why? Sophie the chocolate lab. Why Sophie the chocolate lab? We could call her Hershey. Hershey not bad. Would be good. Okay. Come on, guys. Got to come up you with something. You could call her Reese, like Reese's Reese? peanut butter cup and right? sort of a nod to Reese Witherspoon. I'm not feeling very creative today. Nothing's coming oh, to mind. On, I know. You have nothing to say? That's hard to believe. It's, you know, it's Olga. 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 You don't hear very many Olgas anymore. No, she would <laughs> definitely be one of a kind. A chocolate lab named Olga. Uh, chocolate volcano cake. That sounds good, but I'm not. <laughs> now, now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, wait a second. So she's fabulous. As you can see, she's extremely playful. And we have another dog that's out inside the door trying to get in to come in and play with Olga. So <laughs> Olga. Well, I'm going to call her Olga. <laughs> you can, that's, there you go. I'm going to call her Chocolate Volcano Cake. Okay. So she's going to be going up for adoption, and um, obviously, obviously, she's going to need some training. But she's a good, lovable dog. She's not at that mouthy stage or anything that you have to worry about. But um, I think she'd be a great family dog. Any, any of course, is. that's, that's yeah. kind of crazy to say that they wouldn't. Oh yeah, she's they got wouldn't a pretty be. little. Face. And how long has she been here? She's only been here a few days. Oh okay, so, that's so why. She's... she's not even. She will be up on the website. So she's not on the website. So not you're hearing yet. it here first. That's right. Got to come down and like uh, and. Ask for the, you can ask for the nameless chocolate the nameless. lab because they may not be familiar with Olga by the time no. you're here. No. <laughs> or chocolate volcano cake. Okay. There you go. <laughs> hey, first things first. I'm a guy of my word. I want to slide that across Look the table that. to you. Oh, thank yeah. you. So it's, you go, John. And thank I, I, you. And I even signed it. You certainly did, which helps because it's a check. Yeah, don't cash till the uh, 16th. Look at that. A $200 check. That's John, it. I own Annapolis. That's because very cool. Because the SPCA does such good work. And, and you're keeping I your lost, you, you, you keep pushing them out. And, yes. uh, well, thank and, uh, you. So that's the uh, that's the reward for adopting two puppies. Well, we appreciate so. you supporting our mission so much. Thank well, you. And I know it's Subaru Loves Pets Month still. We're it's in the midst still of it. Subaru Loves Pets Month. That's right. Do we have a count? Do you know how many you've adopted so far? Three of them going home today. Ooh, As cool. we speak, it's actually, this afternoon. Day. $300 yeah. a day. Three, yeah. Lulu, yeah. the Beagle's going yeah. home. Archie. So it is a, it's been a great couple of days. So awesome. we, are gonna, we are going to meet our quota pretty fast. Love to hear it. Yeah. Awesome. How did your... Uh, you were at the sustainability panel last night, weren't you? I was. I, I didn't make it. I was... Actually, actually, my girlfriend had cataract surgery, so the doctor said I had to stay with her like throughout the thing. So you made I want to wait You made a good decision. I'm going to wait till it comes out on Netflix on Friday. The documentary on Friday? Yeah. yeah <laughs> That's right. I think there will be a recording, but it was good. It was, uh, it was very uh, informative. There's a lot of uh, small businesses in the, in the area that, that participated. And, you know, I learned a lot about uh, what other businesses are doing, mainly with restaurants and mm-hmm. some. Uh, you know, there's so much. There's, you can do a little that makes a, a big difference. Yeah. Um, which mm-hmm. is, you know, and, and together, a lot of littles. Make yep. a, make a you know yep. do, Annapolis do Green was there. They're represented. That's one of their big things. Is you know just try, you know start small. You mm-hmm. know with the sustainability efforts with you know compostable, you know cups, straws, things like that. And you know it doesn't doesn't it has to be monumental or super. super you know I'll costly. say I'm a, I'm a pretty avid recycler, mm-hmm. and I never was mm-hmm. until they made it easy. The easier the easier it is, the more people will do it. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, in you guys, uh, Annapolis Subaru. 
And actually, your whole Annapolis Cars group is doing well by the Chesapeake Bay Trust. I just saw a report right here in my little hand oh, geez. Mm, on those uh, bay plates. Yeah. And Volvo Cars statewide for the spring was number three, and the percentage of bay plates sold versus number of cars sold. Mm-hmm. And Annapolis Hyundai? Hyundai? Mm-hmm. I get that wrong. Mm-hmm. Hyundai like Sunday. Okay. They're number four. And Annapolis Subaru is number six. That's statewide, though, man. Yeah. Of all the car dealers out there, you're pushing them out there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, we, uh, you know, it, honestly, they, they, they look better. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. They they um, really and do. there's also a lot of benefits that come along with the bay plates Good as well. Special you get garages. Spaces. Yeah, special parking. <laughs> there's some discounts that apply at certain places if you have the bay plates. Um, it's only 20 bucks extra every two years um, to support uh, the Chesapeake Bay Trust. So it's it's a fabulous program. I mean, I yeah. get I get it all I get it all the time. And then I also noticed that in the sheer number of plates sold statewide, Annapolis Subaru placed in at tenth place statewide. Yep. So we need more volume. We gotta pump that number up. Bay plates are awesome. The Chesapeake Bay Trust is awesome and uh we recommend that all of our customers get the get the bay plates and well I did I did see also that the um Subaru National or maybe International is getting ready to go to the Tokyo Auto Show. Okay. Uh you going? No, oh, like, no. Yeah, that's a short. Oh, I'm going to pass but, on that. One. But but they're they're all a buzz about an EV sports car that they've just sort of teased out mm. with, uh, and everyone's talking about the cool little lines on it and the lights that are on the exterior because you can't really see what it is. It's just a real tease, and they're going to apparently debut it at nice. this Tokyo Auto cool. Show. Yeah, there's going to be all sorts of cool stuff that's coming out in the next like. 10 years. And Looking I haven't forward even bought my cross track yet. See? True. I know. I know. By the it's time gonna, I get it, it's going to be old You got to get off the sticker. The 20, 2025s are going to be out. <laughs> yeah. So Maybe we'll do it at Life's 11. on the 1159. Well, that's coming up soon. And you're, and you're still looking for um, sponsors, I'm sure. That's right. Sponsorships are still available, which is great. And that is what helps to make it happen. So we thank everybody who's already stepped up to sponsor. When like can, Subaru. When, yes. November 19th is when it opens up, right? That's right. This is the first night of the show. And then we have Lights and Leashes on the 17th and 18th. But we do have something coming up sooner, which is our um, SPCA Halloween trick or treat. They're going to be here? Yes. It's going to be right here on our um, nature trail, right next to oh. us. So that'll be a lot of fun. We How does did that work? this. We actually did it um, a couple years ago, and then we did it during the very first start of COVID, and then we had to cancel after that. Um, but so they're, we're going to have the SPCA Forest of Fear, and that's going to be on October 28th and 29th from 7.30 to 10. And that's kind of like the nighttime stuff where you don't want to bring the kids because we're going to be spooky and scary and all those things. Ooh. So keep the kids and the dogs at home. But during the day on the 28th and 29th, we're going to have the Halloween Trick or Treat Trail. And that's when you can bring the kids and and it's a fun, happy time. You know, get dressed up, wear your costumes, and you can bring the dog along. Get them loaded um, up with a bunch of candy right before they're going right. to get loaded up with a bunch of candy again. And then some, and then some. I right. love it. Tickets at, do you get them at the time or do you go and get them in advance? Um, In advance. Okay. Yep. And that would be at aacspca.org? That is correct, yeah. Well, I know if you have a dog, you also um, want to check out Homestead Gardens on the 21st because they've yeah. got the critter crawl. They do. Which it's is uh, fun. Costume parade and contest for yeah. your and Homestead's always pretty this, that time of year. Oh my they gosh! Do. I mean, they've the got Fall Fest is great. Cats and dogs. I've seen reptiles there. Uh, they there had was, a chicken. There was chickens, time. right? They... Chicken, <laughs> yeah. a chicken, That's chicken right. with a bow tie, sharp dressed <laughs> man. Wow, you know, uh, totally works out. Uh, so that's on the twenty first in conjunction with their right. fall festival, which ends that weekend. And that's always a lot of fun up there. You know, it was cool celebration. when we were leaving here last time we recorded, we walked outside and there was a, a young lady and her mom The the mom was taking the picture of the, the young lady. She had just turned eight. And for her birthday, mm-hmm. she had Requested. asked people not to give her gifts mm-hmm. and just to give her stuff that she could donate to the SPCA. And she had yeah. dog food, and- dog oh, food, toys, bedding. So fun. It was so cool. Like for an eight year old to, mm-hmm. to be that forward thinking and that, yes. you know, that unselfish and willing yeah. to give up those special birthday I presents for, exactly. for the animals here. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. And, and, it's- and Billy and I actually even talked like we knew what we were talking about. We told them about <laughs> reading to the that. pets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they didn't know. And they that. said, we're going to sign her up. Because she was all psyched yeah. on it. There you go. Then they said, can we just walk around and like pet any animal we want? We said, sure, sure. absolutely. Any Why not? dog you want, go right into that yeah. run and pet that's, that's right. Just open that cage. You'll be fine. 
Start here with Cody. <laughs> yeah, tell him Kelly sent you. <laughs> Kelly said it was okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. And you know what? Some people, like, they, they usually go by, like, our wish list, which is nice, you know, for the stuff that we feed or we use for the supplies for the animals. And then sometimes they'll choose just to do, like, a gift card. And then, so if we run out of something or we have an animal that we may not have, you know, like a hedgehog or something, we have to run over to Petco. So they give gift cards, too, which is obviously super helpful oh, cool. for us. Last minute, we have to go buy never, hedgehog never, food. I never thought about that. Mm-hmm. I never thought yeah. about that. You get the little oddball animals oh, yeah. that come in that... Sugar gliders, yeah, you may not have this chinchillas. Before. Yeah, so we don't stock that, obviously. <laughs> you know, you um, we want it to be don't fresh. have 50-pound bags of chinchilla No, food. we just don't. But, uh, <laughs> so that way we can run in PetSmart or Petco and just grab whatever we need. Mm-hmm. So that transitions nicely into um, the next thing that we have going on, which is on October 25th at That's Annapolis right. Subaru from 1 to 3. We're going to be recording the podcast there, but also we're going to have the mobile adoption unit, and we're... Mm-hmm. Inviting donation. everybody who wants to come to bring um, some food drug. to donate mm-hmm. to the SPCA for their food bank. Very cool. Isn't that great? Yeah. One to three. One to three. Um, October 25th. That's a Wednesday. October 25th. Come on down. You do not have to buy a car. But you, you have come, to adopt a dog. But you have to adopt a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but no pressure. If you do buy a car that day, we'll pay for your adoption fee. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but no, if anybody's in the area, you know, swing by, say hello, um, and drop off some drop off some food. Look and it's the, so helpful because we have been um, asking the community just to help out because we're super low on food. Um, and we have been so things like that drive will be so helpful to us. So we've been just because we have our food bank, which we, yeah. we had talked about and we serve, you know, a bunch of families in the community that need it. And then along with our dogs. So and that's one of the most expensive costs for us is obviously, oh, you know, sure. food and medication. So thank you. Well, I'll tell you, with all that goodness running around, you ought to get on the Internet, go to AACSPCA.org mm-hmm. and check out all the adoptable puppies. And then also go over to AnnapolisSubaru.com. You want to check out that new Cross Trek Wilderness. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're in the market for one, get one before Kelly snatches it up. <laughs> That's right. They're all mine. <laughs> <laughs> They're all sold currently. But I know. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get you one. Don't worry. But and definitely put those dates on your calendar. There, you want to put October 28th and 29th for the kids and for the little bit older kids up here at the SBCA for the Trick or Treat Trail or the Forest of Fear Trail. Ooh. The 21st at Homestead Gardens for the Critter Crawl, Lights and Leashes on November 17th and 18th. But the big one is Wednesday the 25th up at Annapolis Subaru because you can be a part of the podcast and we'll have plenty of puppies there from the SBCA. And yep. Go there, do that. Again, aacspca.org, annapolissubaru.com. We're going to see you guys next week. Sounds Thanks. good. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, iamannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at I on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.